I'm Madison Earhart inside the CSM Sports Center newsroom, and here's what we're working on for you tonight in the 11 o'clock edition. The Chicago Blackhawks and the Ducks are playing game six. Can Chicago force a game seven? And we have some Jays and some French Open highlights coming your way next. It's been an odd season in terms of highs and lows for the Toronto Raptors. There have been some tough streaks and injuries that have plagued the Stars. With last season's playoffs still fresh in the minds of everyone, the Raptors have said they will use that first round heartbreaker to propel them to the top. It was a rematch of last year's Stanley Cup Finals, but could the Kings solve Cam Talbot? This is SportsCenter. The Toronto Rock are 12-4 on the regular season with two final games remaining. Both are against New England, however, that's not the team they are too concerned about. They need to see Rochester lose one of their final four games in order to claim first place in the Eastern Division. From Toronto, Madison Earhart, CSM. The Pan Am Games are just a few months away and there's still one big question mark when it comes to the events, premier attractions, men's basketball. Who will suit up for Team Canada July 21st? Mike Babcock was introduced to the media as the Maple Leafs' new head coach on Thursday. And he warned Maple Leaf fans about the pain ahead. He says it's going to be a long process. It will be a battle, but it will be fun. But if you expect there to be no pain, you are wrong. There will be pain, but Maple Leaf fans are all too familiar with that. From the Air Canada Centre, Madison Earhart, CSM. There's no doubt tonight, Jonathan Taves is the difference maker in game one. He was a minus two on the night, so he's definitely stepped up his play in this one. He's battling it out with Ryan Kessler here, going on the boards, not afraid to get in those dirty areas. And there's no doubt tonight that he has been a difference maker. He did actually have the assist on the first goal by Andrew Shaw, so he has been solid tonight, Sarita. For seven-year head coach of Dalhousie University, he says, we are a young team, but we have to show our resiliency. We've been doing that all season with a 10-game winning streak they're riding. They have to continue to fight back, so look for them to have a strong second half here. For the University of Toronto, the game plan is simple. Continue to do what's got them here all season. Wild Islanders pick it up scoreless in the second. Watch Yerzaf Halak go post to post. Jason Pominville thinks he's going to get some. Think again, Mr. Pominville. What a save. Opening day at Yankee Stadium. Drew Hutchison, the youngest pitcher in franchise history to take the mound on opening day for the Jays. He went 3-0 with a 150 ERA in four starts this spring. Bottom first, Brett Gardner deep to right. Jose Bautista traps it, and he's got it. Late second, 4 4 hockey, Tarasenko. This is going to be a minus. Gallagher, 2 on 1. He's going to keep it, snap it, stick side. Montreal extends their lead, 3 1. And then 39 seconds after that, Galchenyuk feeds it to Michael Bornival. Coming out of the sin bin, he walks in all alone and scores a beauty. 4 1. Breaking news, everyone. There has been a unibrow sighting in New York. Let's get a better glimpse of that in our highlight pack. New York looking to avoid their 17th straight loss. Jump to the fourth, Knicks up by six. Lance Thomas misses the jumper, but Langston Galloway comes up out of nowhere and throws it down two of his 21. The Montreal Canadiens were 0 for 3 on the power play in game two and just 1 for 27 in the playoffs. Now after the game, Michelle Terrian said, if we want a chance at game three, we have to be better on special teams. From Toronto, Madison Earhart, CSM.